Hi everyone, my name is Skyla Ramirez. Welcome to our Yoga for Everybody session today. Let's get started with a little bit of breath work and a little bit of acupressure work. So as we move into these warmer months, sometimes this can put a strain on the kidneys and other organs. So we're gonna start with um, a mudra, a hand gesture that also puts pressure onto a specific point in the body that helps with the overall health of alleviating the stress of heat. To do this, take your right palm up and you're gonna take right along this, this lifeline here, along this line that goes from about the meaty part of your thumb between the thumb and index finger. There's a line that goes there. There's a mound of flesh by the thumb. You're just gonna push into this space just beyond the knuckle and just beyond that mound of flesh by this tendon in your hand. So it's the right hand pressing with the thumb into that spot. And then you can turn the palm up and maybe just rest the hands down in your lap for now. We're only putting as much pressure as you would maybe put into a, uh, a grape. If you had a very ripe grape and you were gonna squeeze that grape, you don't want to break the skin and you don't want to bruise the fruit. So the pressure is fairly light, yet very effective and powerful. Let's lengthen through our spine, let the chin come down a little bit. As you inhale, breathe into the nose and down into your belly, let that belly round out. And then exhale as if you're gonna whistle. Inhaling in through the nose, down to your belly. And then exhale like a whistle. Now this next inhale, let your shoulders rise up to your ears. Inhale, pull the shoulders up. And then exhale, relax them down. Two or three more like that. Inhale, holding onto that acupressure point. Shoulders rising up, pull them up towards your ears, chin down, and then exhale. At least one more, big breath in. And exhale. Let go of that acupressure point with your hands. And you're welcome to go ahead and stay where you're seated, maybe scoot to the edge of your chair or gently bring yourself up to standing for a gentle warm up. So the warm up will have some leg and arm motions. If you're seated, you're welcome to do just the arms. Let's begin if we're standing with the hands at the heart. And as you inhale, step one foot back, inhale, turn up the palms, Open the arms and pull your elbows back. Press the shoulders towards your hips. Inhale, lift your chin, breathe into the chest. And now exhale, lower your chin. Step forward and bring the hands to your heart. Inhale, other foot back, inhale. And then as you exhale, bring it forward, close the hands, chin down. Exhale, like you're gonna whistle. Inhale into the nose, one foot back, arms open. Lift the chest, open the intestines, and then exhale. Let's keep that rhythm. Inhale, option to step a foot back, even if you're seated. Pull the ribs up, open your chest, draw those elbows behind your waist and low back, lift the chin, and then chin down. Exhale like you're whistling. At least one more each side, one foot back, inhale, open. Exhale, forward. Maybe close your eyes, tune into the feeling of the breath in the body. As long as we're breathing, we're doing yoga. Exhale, forward. Let's come to a still point, either standing or seated. Relax the hands down beside you. Let's open the left palm. Inhale, take that arm back and around. Look over your left shoulder as you circle the arm around. Reach up at the top of your breath. 
And then exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, back and around, big circle. At the top of the breath, reach a little more. And then exhale, forward and around. A little twist to the right as you're reaching across to the body. Let's try that a couple more times. Inhale, circle it back. Rotation to the trunk of the body. Pause at the top of the breath and reach. And then exhale, sweep it forward. Maybe even pull that right shoulder back as you circle, arm across the body. One more, big inhale. Top of the breath, reach, open at the armpit and the rib. And then exhale, gentle rotation around. Let's rest that left hand down beside us, opening up the right palm. As we inhale, we're sweeping it back and around, rotating through the trunk of the body, pausing to lengthen and brace that stretch at the top of your breath, pull out of the armpit, and then exhale, bring it forward and around. So maybe we don't re reach across so much for the first two. Inhale, open. Give your body time to acclimate to that big twist in the spine. A lot of spine injuries can happen when we are twisting the spine with spine compression. So inhale, reach. Make that space in the spine by lifting tall. Then exhale and start to exaggerate that rotation through the trunk of your body. Two more. Inhale, open. Option to close the eyes, top of the breath, pause and reach. Exhale like you're whistling. Make a bubble in your mouth. One more, big inhale. Top of the breath, reach, and then exhale. Let's open both palms. Inhale, sweep them up and overhead. Option to step your left foot back if you're standing. If you're in a chair, you can always sit sideways on your chair and maybe just open the legs wide from a seated position. From wherever you are with those arms, let's turn the palms forward. And as you exhale, bend the elbows, shift your weight forward. So if you're in a chair, push down into both of your feet with a wide base of support. Inhale, come up. Reach the arms up and overhead. Maybe even look up to where the wall meets the ceiling ahead of you or shift the gaze up to the sky. Big inhale at the top of that breath. Exhale, palms forward, bend the elbows, load your weight into the feet. Let's ground the energy on that exhale and pause. Inhale, scoop up that breath. Pause at the top of the breath. Maybe take just a little bit more of a sip. Pull up from your armpits and ribs, and then exhale, come forward. Adding in that same breath we began with. Inhale through the nose, scoop up the breath. Exhale from the mouth, purse the lips like you're going to whistle or blow bubbles. And push the breath out, use your stomach muscles. Inhale, reach. Exhale, purse the lips. Pull the stomach muscles in tight. Just one more. Exhale forward. From here, let's place our hands on our leg. If you're seated, you could have both hands on both thighs as a nice, safe alternative from where you are. Pull your heart forward and lift through the chest into cow pose. As you exhale, round your middle back and upper back. Come forward to stretch over your kidneys. Drop the head, let's shake the head, yes. And turn it left and right. Come to a still point with the body, hips go back, heart lengthens out, ribs pulling over your knee. Inhale into your standing cow or seated cow expression. Exhale, pull the stomach in. Drop your head, neck and shoulders. Let the spine round in a very casual way so you're able to stretch the muscles over the and along the spine. One more, inhale, come forward, pull out and up through your ribs and heart. Hips are pressing back behind you, either from standing or in a chair. And then exhale, pull the navel up and in and drop your head and relax. 
When you're ready, find a neutral spine or pull those ribs forward. Let's slowly walk the hands up, coming to a neutral position. Inhale, bringing the arms up and overhead. Step your other foot back. So we had our, I think our other foot back. Let's step the right foot back this time. When you're ready, palms forward, exhale, pull back. Push the breath out, use your stomach muscles. Palms up and forward, scoop it up. Stretch through the chest and ribs and then exhale. Inhale through the nose, scoop the breath, shift the gaze up, maybe even look to the sky. So we're opening up for healthy thyroid function. Exhale, coming forward. We have at least two or three more. There's plenty of time for us to close our eyes. Notice the rhythm of the breath. Notice the feeling of those breathing cycles. Does the body have a preference to inhale? Or maybe there's more satisfaction in letting go. There could be no difference at all. At least one more. And exhale. Let's place our hands on that front left leg. Or if you're seated or maybe want to take a wider stance, palms on both thighs, pressing the hips back, heart pulls up and forward, open the throat, inhale, standing cow. Exhale, draw the navel in and the tailbone down, tucking through the hips, drop your head, standing cat. Closing the eyes, inhale, extension through the spine. This is considered a back bend. So we have the breath is the foundation of our practice. Back bends are considered the fountain of youth in yoga. We're only as healthy as our spines. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. At least one or two more. Rounding the body. Let's establish a neutral spine from neutral. We'll slowly come up either to a strong standing mountain or to your seated position. Take the feet out wide, turn the heels in and the toes out. Let's bend our knees a little bit. If you're standing, push your hips forward from seated, lean forward a little bit. Let's all place both hands on the thighs. From here, we're taking our right hand across to the left thigh, taking our left hand, the knuckles to the low back. Inhale, just like cow pose, flipping your hips back, lengthening up through your heart and sternum, and maybe even looking up to where the wall meets the ceiling. When you're ready, initiating a gentle twist just at your navel, drawing that left shoulder back, pressing the right shoulder forward, and maybe looking over your left shoulder so that we encourage a little more mobility and stretch in your neck and maybe even relieve some tension in your jaw. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Inhale on that twist. Exhale, sigh. <sighs> Just one more. Keep those hips pressing back. Inhale, twist, breathe deep into the upper lungs. Exhale, release it out. Let's bring the hands to the thighs. Let your upper body, head and heart relax, rounding forward, shaking the head yes, and turning the head left and right. Let's lengthen through our spine, flattening the back, establishing a strong neutral spine so that we get a nice flow of energy. Taking our left hand across to the right leg. From here, we'll take our right hand knuckles by the low back. If this feels unstable at all, maybe put the right hand on your waist or hip in the twist. When you're ready, Draw that right shoulder blade back a little more without irritating the rotator cuff or any nerves in your neck. 
Inhale, pull that left shoulder around while you're drawing the right shoulder back. And let's just look over the right shoulder as a natural extension of the twist. That twist begins in the navel, up through the ribs, through the shoulders, neck and head. Inhaling in through the nose. Exhale with your sigh. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Release out of that. Bring the hands to neutral for that neutral cat cow position. Inhale, drop the belly, hips go back, straighten the arms to prop up your chest, and then open the throat. Exhale, round the upper body, fold forward and hang your head loose, stretching through the low back. Let's shake out that head again, just in case there was anything that locked up in those twists. We wanna make sure that that head and neck is really relaxed. When you're ready, walk the hands up onto the legs, past the thighs, bring yourself up to a soft seated or standing position. From seated, you might want to turn so that you're seated on the corner or the edge of your chair. From standing, we can take our right leg forward with the toe up. So as we come into this standing position, we're gonna lift our right toe up in front of us with our left leg at neutral. And you can do this also seated. So from seated, you straighten that right leg out and just keep that left leg neutral. From standing, we'll all soften that left knee, create a little bend, push your hips back as you begin to lean forward, attempting to pull the toes up towards your belly button. We're encouraging a healthy stretch behind your ankle and behind your knee, all the way up into the hamstrings that can have a good impact on your low back. Inhale, lengthen out, Exhale, sink a little bit more forward. <sighs> Deepening possibly some of those sensations in the leg with that stretch. When you're ready, slowly bring it up. Let's just take that right toe. You're gonna tap it down, lift it up, and then take it right and left, creating a little bit of a rotation in the leg and in the ankle on that right foot. This is going to move some of the muscles all the way up into the inner thigh and groin. And there are muscles in that inner groin that connect all the way up around your hip into your middle and low back region. It's called the psoas muscle. Just a little bit more left and right, moving from your foot, your knee, and your hip. When you're ready, slowly come to a still point Let's switch legs. If we're standing, we're taking that left leg forward in front of us with the toe up. From seated, we just lengthen out that left leg and keep your right leg comfortably bent. Let's take a soft bend in the knee from standing. Push the hips back as you lengthen the spine out over that leg. Stopping at any point where there is just a hint of sensation. Let's give the body a little bit of time to ease into this stretch. Inhale into your nose. Exhale, long exhale of a ha. <sighs> One more, inhale. Ha. <sighs> Hold it there. Pull the toes up towards your belly button. Try pulling that left kneecap up as well. Holding it there, relax your jaw. If there's any tightness in the jaw, we might be able to release it when we relax the jaw. The jaw is intimately connected to your low back and hips. When you're ready, slowly come up. Let's take that left foot down, lift it up, and then take it left and right, turning the foot in and out, moving from your knee and also from that upper hip and thigh region. Again, there are muscles that connect to your inner thigh and groin. Those muscles start in your spine. They wrap around the hip and go all the way up between your thoracic and lumbar spine. So if you've ever had a doctor say to you, anything that has to do with a T or an L in your back, 
we are moving muscles that connect there. Just a few more times left and right, moving that whole thigh and knee. When you're ready, come to a still point. Go ahead and shake out your legs and ankles. If you're standing, maybe stand on one foot and circle that ankle out. From seated, you can lift one leg and circle out the foot. Let's be sure we circle in both directions to um, encourage some healthy circulation and lymphatic drainage. We want to prevent any pooling of fluids or edema. Let's do the other side. When you're ready, lifting one leg or extending that leg out and hovering the foot. Circle the foot in one direction. This is a great one. It doesn't matter what kind of shoes you have on. You're still able to work that healthy benefit, that healthy circulation into the leg. Make sure you circle in both directions. When you're ready, relax your feet, relax your arms and legs. Let's center the body with the breath. Opening the palms, inhale, sweep the arms back and around. Exhale, take the arms back and around. <sighs> Big backstroke movement, two more, inhale. Exhale back, lift through the chest, maybe even look up to the sky. A little back bend at the top of that exhale. When you're ready, let's come to any still position, bringing your hands down into your lap with the palms turned up. Let's take a moment to just feel the breath in the body. Our muscles in the diaphragm and the ribs are some of the most powerful muscles that can help improve overall digestion, elimination, posture, energy, even various positive emotional states, all of that influenced by a good breath. So let's just find a still point today with the palms up. And when you're ready, lower your chin down. From here, let's find the breath, breathing in through the nose as much as possible. Try rounding out your belly, your low back, and maybe even feel the breath kind of just draping over the side of your hip. Exhale, you can exhale from the throat and keep your lips together or open the mouth. I recommend you experiment with both. Inhale down into the belly, into the low back, and over the tops of the hips. Exhale, relax. At least a couple more. Now, when you're ready, draw the hands up off your lap and bring the hands down onto the side ribs. So if you find where your waistline is for this, so I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Find where your waistline is and or your belly button, bring the hands up above that so you can feel like the floating rib and those bottom ribs here that sort of house and protect your lungs. Place your palms onto this place, fingertip light. And now as we inhale, imagine that that breath originates right here in this um, upper waistline region. As you inhale, try, try flaring out your side ribs into your hands. And then exhale, let them pull in. Inhale, flare out the ribs. Exhale, pull them in. Close the eyes. We'll take at least three to five more breaths like this, encouraging the body to be flooded with fresh oxygen, fresh breaths to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Big inhale. Now from here, bring the hands over your chest. Let's cross the arms over. You can keep them here, or you can take your fingers up to your earlobes and just pull gently on your earlobes. This has several different health benefits. And if those of you are wondering, what are we doing? Did I hear her right? Yes, you heard me right. 
take your arms across the body. You can hold them here or reach up and just gently pinch your ear lobes. This has to do with stabilizing blood pressure as it is relative to the stress response and its effect on your vagus nerve. So we're gonna inhale, lift up through your chest. And when you exhale, pull on your earlobes and come down. <sighs> Big exhale. Now, if you're in a place where you can make a noise, I'm going to encourage you to say, we. Big inhale, lift. Pull on the earlobes. We. Inhale. Exhale, little we. We. One or two more. We. Now, maybe you don't make the sound, but maybe at least open your mouth and exhale as if you were going to say we. Let's try one more. Lift the chest. Pull on the earlobes. We. When you're ready, slowly come up. Let those hands stay up, down on your lap. In closing, let's lengthen through the spine, lower your chin. Go ahead and stretch, roll along your jawline, bringing the left ear to the left shoulder, keeping the palms up. Pull that right hand back, keeping the elbow close to your body. And then maybe just practice turning that right hand down and then turn it up. Find your breath here, bring that chin in close to the shoulder, close to the collarbones. Continuing to rotate that right palm up and down. When you're ready, let's slowly lower that right hand into the lap, roll along the jawline, come to neutral. Let's go along the right jawline, right ear to the right shoulder, keeping the left hand up. Let's draw that left elbow and palm back. Inhale in place, breathe into that upper left lung. Maybe turn the chin in just a little bit. The position of the neck is up to you. You might discover some places that are really tight in your neck just with that gentle movement in your chin. Let's practice rotating left palm down, left palm up. Continue to breathe easy. Remember, as long as you're breathing, you're doing yoga. We only have about one more minute. When you're ready, slowly relax the palm down. Let's roll along the jawline, chin to neutral. Inhale, lift the head. Turn your head left and right. Let's practice at least three big inhales and exhale with a sigh to close our practice today. Breathe into the belly, ribs, and heart. And then exhale. Two more. Last one. Soak it up. Big breath in. And then relax. In closing, we can bow together. Have a lovely day everyone. Namaste. Join me tomorrow for meditation at noon. See you all later.